مدد يسطان يسير شاء الله فاز أسن يسطان يسير شاء محمد ماذا ماذا حقا ماذا يسير شاء محمد ماذا ربنا إن شاء الله أعيننا دعونا له وكونوا عودا لنا بالله رجال الله أعيننا دعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحضى بفضل الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Obey Allah, obey Prophet وسلم, and obey those who are in authority over you. And Shahna Bahadir Naqshbun Muhammad Uysi al Bukhari. Qadda Salasir al Aziz. It is said that 12,000 times in his associations he would say, Tariqatuna al Sahba wal Khairu fil Jamaiya. Our way is companionship of goodness. Sahba yani Sahba al Khair. Sahaba of good people, Sahaba of people who are near and dear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And goodness in, is in such gatherings. In, in Islam, it's very important to have jama'ah. Uh, praying in jama'ah is 27 times more uh, than praying by oneself. Uh, Jum'ah is a must for a Muslim, they have to go, they can't miss more than two Jum'ahs intentionally, for no, with no excuses. So as Muslims we're always, um, we're always advised, we're always, it's required of us to be with each other. Uh, visiting the sick is uh, sunnah of Prophet ﷺ that a person yu'jar alayha. Uh, also, <clears throat> accepting invitation is from haquq al-Muslim ala al-Muslim. When a Muslim asks you to, invites you over, you have to go. So, socialization with other people and being in the company of other people is very important in Islam. And one has to also in Islam look for Suhbat al-Khair, look for the good companionship and stay away from that which is bad. Um, look for companions who make you uh, do things that are pleasing to Allah or bring you nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these things are very important. Therefore, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Um, it is very important to to be with others who are better than us. That's why we go to Mashaykh. That's why we go to we look for pious people, we look for good people to be in their presence. It is that suhba that Prophet وسلم, before everything else in Islam, that suhba was one of the first sunnas. People accepted Prophet and then they accompanied him and through that companionship their states became better as they accompanied him their inner and outer states were aligned with his and they became better human beings but subhanallah we live at a time now because of whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree is that now less and less we are able to be with each other physically that is that we are able we are not able to have companionship physical companionship with our mashayikh, with our brothers who always advise us for goodness. We're not able to do these things. And therefore we have to be, and yeah, use whatever means possible at our disposal to, to try to be with each other, even though it's not the same. It's not the same to be on, 
online with other people as it would be if you were uh, with them physically and and there's really no words to um, describe the difference of visiting with Allah and being in their presence and sitting in the presence of a Shaykh or a Holy One there's um, something extraordinary happens that is mostly unseen uh, when when the Shaykh looks at, at you or when you look at at that holy man to be in the presence of such company well we say, we have to say alhamdulillah this is an affliction on the whole ummah uh, now you have to register to go pray i don't know how it is in other places but here in canada um, they still have restrictions and there's still limitations on how many people can be in the masajid and so therefore there's there are not enough spots for you to go they are making the jum'ah three times they're praying three times um, three jama'ahs on jum'ah and still if you are a little bit late you won't find uh, you you will find that all the spots have run out um, it is really an affliction with, yani for us Muslims especially, it is, it's hitting us in our, our faith, our religion. It's hitting us because a prayer in Jama'ah, praying Jum'ah, uh, Zikr gatherings, all these amazing things we are not able to do anymore. So we have to say Astaghfirullah. Ya Rabbi, grant us to be together again, grant us to be together with our Shaykh, grant us to be together with our brothers and sisters, uh, grant us to have dhikr gatherings like we used to do before. Ya Allah, innaka ala kulli shayin qadir. We are weak ones. But these are signs. When well, Shaykh Muhammad was talking about this past year that, you know, things that happen in it that are... Um, never never happened before in the history of humanity and now we are experiencing these things and we as muslims alhamdulillah prophet sallallahu informed us that about the strange happenings at the end of time and that how we will reach a time when people who are above ground will wish to be underground alhamdulillah we have not reached those times yet but Difficult times seems to be on the horizon. And as Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam informed us, um, as Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, informed us about Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam that يخرج ولد ولد من أهل بيتي يملأ الأرض قسطا وعدلا بعد أن ملئت ظلما وجورا that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to send somebody at the end of time because right now there's really nothing nothing people can do except in their own circles to help each other to to be a positive light for others to to try to to um, be there for people in your circles if you can financially to help people in need in other parts of the world as well or uh, in your area but more than that there is really not much that one can do people now protesting and wanting to uh, change uh, politics and change countries and change uh, their works are futile because as sadiq al-masduq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us that, that that time at the end of time they asked him what do we do when there is too much confusion there's too much strife when everybody's killing everybody muslims killing each other difficult times he said at that time don't join any groups don't try uh, stay in your house uh, break your sword uh, break your bow and go into your home and alayka bi khuwaisati nafsik in another narration and in other narrations he said the one who is standing better than the one who is walking the one who is walking better than the one who is riding 
and the one who was sitting is, is, is better and he said the fitan will be kaqita al layl al the the trials that will come on earth will be like the dark chunks of night means means full of darkness full of um vulma and dhulumat um negativity and and prophet sallallahu advice is whoever looks even even whoever looks at it will be sucked into it whoever tries puts their hand in it uh tries to fix it or tries to make it better will make it worse and we're witnesses to this we're all witnesses to this group or that group claiming to come speaking in the name of islam wanting to save the ummah and every time they do something the ummah is 10 times worse um, so because they are not turning to prophet sallallahu advice prophet's advice at this time is take care of your spiritual state take care of your families take care of your neighbors of your circle uh, the people around you and uh, and wait for faraj wait for uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's relief in this darkness to come. Wait for Allah's light to come. Allah's light, intidhar al faraj ibadah, Prophet sallallahu said, says when, when you are in difficult times and you patiently await Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's relief, Allah's faraj, Allah's light, he said that will be considered all as ibadah for you. So we have to be like that, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this opportunity to, to be patient with our ibadah, to be patient with our awrad, to be patient with our families, to be patient with the difficulties that that are coming, to be patient with this corona, uh, to be patient with our uh, sustenance issues, to try to be patient and to accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree and try to be uh, good, inshallah, and wait for Allah's relief. And that relief is Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam. There is no one is going to save humanity now uh, from, from what is going on. Um, and what is coming is even greater according to our Prophet sallallahu uh, hadith about the end of times. So there's, there's absolutely no point. Yes, you can... You can look at what's going around you uh, with the intention of being case of being wise about what so that you know you you know that these signs are coming. So when you see something that Prophet Sallallahu has foretold, Sadaqa Rasul, it confirms and affirms our faith, makes us stronger in faith. That Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu is a Sadiq al We have no doubt that he is the truthful one. But every time something manifests his words manifest they come true it makes us even more uh and it, it, it increases our faith as opposed to looking for answers here and there looking for answers in science in politics in uh, culture in uh, in uh, civilization allah knows whatever they're selling people uh, nowadays whatever groups coming uh, equality, this and that, that is all of no use to anybody. They're not going to fix this earth and make it heaven. It's not going to happen anymore. It never did, but now more than ever, it's never going to happen. So there's absolutely no point. You can only look at what's happening with the intention to um, measure it up against Prophet's hadith and uh, Mashaykh's explanations of the end of time so that you know the signs and so that you know what to do uh, in those instances but otherwise there's absolutely no point in trying to look at what's happening in dunya with the intention of bringing justice or this or that that's finished um, the kingdom of the uh, Antichrist is from east to west, as Mohan Sheikh Nazim was saying back uh, uh, 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, he was talking, uh, saying about this, that his kingdom is spread from east to west. Only now is heavenly relief. 
That's the only thing that will save people. And reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing the things that uh, Prophet ﷺ advised us for protection, for safety, for affirming our faith, our faith, like that. So alhamdulillah, we are in tariqah. We have our beads. We have our prayer mats. We have uh, our fasts. We have, we have all these tools. We have our dua. We have all these things that this is the time now to hold on to these things more than we even used to do that before because now as things get harder this is basically our safety and we are entering now a month that is known as the month where previous nations who disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were punished it's not that uh, we are uh, what do you say when you're uh, when you have uh, tira Tira is not auspicious. When you think something if you know is bad because just uh, they used to use a uh, tira back in the days. Allahumma salli I can't remember the English word for it, but basically a tayaru means um, uh, yes yes bad omen bad omen. We don't believe in bad omens in Islam that something uh, you know this month something bad is going to happen because in, in safar prophet sallallahu said la la adwa wa la tayra that there is no uh, bad omens um, so but there are months for example like uh, the month of ramadan is the month of mercy and you feel it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is tajalli in that month and the beauty of that month uh, similarly, this month, month of Safar, is one of the months that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished many nations before. So it is a heavier month and uh, our Mashaykh advise us, as Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad was saying today, to recite Surah Al-Fil seven times uh, a day and to make Istighfar 70 times a day at, and um, to... Um, give sadaqah daily for protection and to have that niyyah of the intention of protection and today I also uh, somebody sent us a, a video of Mawlana Sheikh Nazim I don't know if he read it once during the month or he was reading every day but Hizbul Wiqaya uh, Sheikh Muhammad was there with him and he also read uh, with him Hizbul Wiqaya Riman Arad al from Sheikh Al-Akbar Sheikh uh, Ibn Al-Arabi but these are the things that one can do. And then rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rely on Him for protection, rely on Him for safety, uh, accept whatever Allah is sending, and wait for Allah's relief. This is, this is uh, the advice in this time from Mashaykh. This is the advice of Prophet in this time that we have to hold on to very tightly. And if you can be with a small group of people now, uh, of good people, Alhamdulillah, if, if your area allows or your, the laws allows or the guidelines, that is good. Um, but the problem, yeah, today somebody has also shared an article about South Africa. How everybody, because they have shanty towns, overcrowded places, very poverty in Africa, everybody anticipated they will have a, uh, the pandemic will hit them really bad only to find out that um, they're, they never actually um, they had a, a, the curve never never uh, went up and they had a, a flat line and their death rates are seven times less than Europe and other places and subhanAllah was reflecting upon how most of these people are poor and most of them whether Muslims or Christians, they are believing ones. And they're saying that that because of the, their poverty and because of the places are overcrowded, that's one theory. Because of all that, that South Africa and other places in Africa, they have a better immunity to deal with this coronavirus. Um, so subhanAllah, 
uh, these four people without doing anything uh, because because they, they have no other recourse, they can't do anything, they have to rely on their Lord. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving them strong immunity to deal with the pandemic. On the other hand, Western countries with all their resource, resources, all their science, all their uh, hospitals, all their medical equipment and research and studies and money and programs, and they're relying fully on that, vaccines and they are they have high death rate and they're all stuck in their homes and they're all scared uh, subhanallah يعني, these are signs for us to learn from yes do what you can but rely on Allah it's not the medicine or the hospital or anything that will protect you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the protector Allah is sufficient for us inshallah ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الحبيب بحرمة الفاتحة